What's up guys, Pro Bowl running back Le'Veon Bell is the top free agent on the market in 2019, though he sat out the whole 2018 season because of a contract dispute with the Pittsburgh Steelers. Bell stands a chance at landing the richest running back contract in NFL history. We're talking about a three-time Pro Bowler, who when healthy is good for over 1,000 rushing yards and 500 plus receiving yards per season, guaranteed. No matter how you feel about Bell's character, there's no denying his talent. He's going to get paid in free agency. For now, all we can guess is who's going to be giving him the money. We think we have an idea of potential suitors, and we know which clubs won't even bother considering him. I'm Jason Biondo, and today we present five teams that should sign Le'Veon Bell, and five that should stay away. Don't forget to subscribe and put on your notifications, because we post videos every day here at TPS. Every single day is a new video so subscribe. Number five, should sign Oakland Raiders. After signing a $100 million contract, head coach John Gruden decided to begin a scorched earth rebuild in Oakland. He already traded away Khalil Mack and Amari Cooper for draft picks. Though those two deals didn't sit well with the Raiders fans. It at least opened up a ton of cap space for Gruden. There are a ton of holes on this roster, and the Raiders would be wise to replace the aging Marshawn Lynch in the backfield. Per OverTheCap.com, the Raiders will have about $74.715 million in cap space this offseason. Now Gruden has to decide if he's going to keep quarterback Derek Carr for the long run or find somebody else. Either way, adding Bell to the offense makes sense in every aspect for the Raiders. This team hasn't had an all-pro running back since Marcus Allen back in 1985. Bell would change the dynamic of this offense, and perhaps he's all Carr needs in order to regain that Pro Bowl form again. Bell is still young enough and could be a nice building block during this rebuild. If the Raiders have so much cap space, why not use it to their advantage? Simply pay Bell and add a dynamic player to help rebuild the offense. Number five, stay away, Houston Texans. Lamar Miller had a down season for the Houston Texans in 2018, and there's no doubt that the team could use a Pro Bowl running back like Bell. That being said, he simply isn't the guy for Houston to go after right now. This team needs to rebuild its pathetically bad offensive line and leaky secondary before addressing any other problems. Miller may not be as flashy as Bell, but he's good enough to compliment quarterback Deshaun Watson and wide receiver DeAndre Hopkins. If the Texans don't like Miller, they can find a cheap upgrade in free agency or in the draft. Simply put, the Texans are not a team in position to go all in for a player like Bell, who will cost 15 to 20 million dollars per season. Plus, that Houston locker room appears to be well intact at the moment, led by the likes of Watson and JJ Watt. Not sure these guys would want a player like Bell on their team, given all the drama he caused over his last two years in Pittsburgh. So, stay far away, Houston. It's for the best. Number four, should sign Buffalo Bills. Well, even if he does sign with the Bills, he's not having a reunion with Antonio Brown, I can tell you that. <laughs> Sorry, Bills fans. After a terrible 2018 season with the Bills, it's clear that perennial pro bowler LaShawn McCoy would benefit from a change of scenery. There are rumors that the Philadelphia Eagles are interested in a reunion with McCoy, and why not? They have a long-term championship window, and McCoy would fit nicely as a lead back in Doug Peterson's offense. The rebuilding Bills should look to move out McCoy and clear cap space so they can enter the Bell sweepstakes. As talented as quarterback Josh Allen is, he won't progress much if the Bills don't supply him with any reliable playmakers. Adding Bell would completely change the look of the Buffalo offense. Offense. And the thing is, Bell is also lethal as a pass catcher in the backfield. He would do wonders working with Allen, who is quite the scrambler himself. Buffalo's rebuild is headed in the right direction, thanks to that terrific defense Sean McDermott has developed. The next phase is upgrading the offense, and they would do that by adding a player of Bell's caliber. Number four, stay away, Minnesota Vikings. The Vikings already have a promising running back in Dalvin Cook, but we know just how much this front office can panic at times. They could have easily kept Case Keenum or Teddy Bridgewater at a bargain price, but the Vikings opted to give Kirk Cousins $84 million guaranteed instead. And that move definitely flopped, but I mean, it's only been a year, so we'll give some time. After a disappointing 2018 season, we can't say it'd be a surprise if the Vikings panicked again and decided to throw money at Le'Veon Bell, believing he'd be the difference maker in their offense. But no, the Vikings should not look at signing Bell to replace Cook. The latter could be the MVP of their offense for years to come, and that's if they use him wisely. And Bell wouldn't shine in many the way he did in Pittsburgh, considering how wretched their offensive line is. Many don't even think about Bell, and Bell don't even think about many. It's just not a good match. Number three should sign Indianapolis Colts. The Colts made the play playoffs with a 10 and 6 record in 2018 and even reached the AFC divisional round. Andrew Luck is back. Darius Leonard figures to be the next great thing on defense. And oh, if that wasn't scary enough, this team has approximately $108 million in cap space. Wow. 
Marlon Mack showed some flashes at running back, but the Colts could go even bigger by adding a player like Bell. You'd have arguably the game's best running back, complemented by wide receiver T.Y. Hilton and MVP caliber quarterback in luck. The Colts are pretty much set on offense, and their up-and-coming defense just needs a couple of reinforcements. They don't have to spend all of the cap space in 2019 and 2020, but the Colts should use it on a superstar player like Bell. The sky would be the limit for this offense if they were to add his services. Only a handful of teams are in a good place to meet Bell's contract demands. The Colts are one of them, and they can offer him the chance to win now. If money and winning are all Bell wants, and the Colts are willing to offer him cash, then this is the premier landing spot. Number three, stay away, Green Bay Packers. The Packers know they have to be aggressive in free agency, with quarterback Aaron Rodgers entering his age 35-36 season. The Packers have a new head coach in Matt LaFleur, and it's evident that this offense needs quite the makeover. The main goal should be to find a number two wide receiver to complement Devontae Adams, and there's no way the Packers should be willing to throw the big bucks a bell, not when they have two talented running backs in Aaron Jones and Jamal Williams. The former looks like he has the skill to be a true number one running back anyway. The Green Bay front office has a lot of work to do in reshaping the offense, and they started it off by hiring a young head coach in Matt LaFleur. The running game obviously needs to be better in 2019, but Jones and Williams seem to be capable of carrying the load. It just doesn't make sense for the Packers to throw money around a bell. This team doesn't need to strengthen a position that is already a strength for them. They need to strengthen a major weakness, namely their receiving core. Le'Veon, take your business elsewhere. Number two, should sign San Francisco 49ers. Like the aforementioned Indianapolis Colts, the 49ers are one of the few teams with more than enough cap space to meet Bell's contract demands. Overthecap.com gives them just a hair under $70 million in cap space for 2019. The 49ers have a promising up and coming core led by Jimmy Garoppolo and George Kittle. They should definitely make a play for Bell. This offense has unlimited potential with Jimmy G and Kittle already in the fold. The Los Angeles Rams would be having trouble sleeping at night knowing another NFC West foe is suddenly breathing down their necks. San Francisco is really not far off from Super Bowl contention again. For all we know, they're just one or two pieces away. That piece might be Bell. Why not use that cap space to sign this guy and see what he can do for them? Number two, stay away, Kansas City Chiefs. The Chiefs released running back Kareem Hunt just weeks before the postseason. Luckily, they were able to find an excellent replacement in Damian Williams. It was a short sample size, but Williams really did look like a guy who has all the makings to be a top flight running back for reigning MVP Patrick Mahomes. Kansas City already has perhaps the best offensive line in the league, with Travis Kelsey, Sammy Watkins, and Tyreek Hill at Mahomes' disposal. Do the Chiefs really need to add a player like Bell? When this offense is already as unstoppable as it is, why would they do that? Yeah, we don't think so. The Chiefs really should be using their cap space to fix some holes on that awful defense. Earl Thomas, anybody? Williams gets the job done as their lead back. There is no need to go and overpay for a player like Bell. Number one, should sign, New York Jets. Try making a list of the pros and cons of the New York Jets potentially signing Le'Veon Bell. Surely you struggled to come up with cons, but you probably found a ton of pros. That's because Bell to the Jets makes every bit of sense in the world. This team will have around $104 million in salary cap space. They have a promising quarterback to build around in Sam Darnold. The Jets have to find the pieces to help their young QB and Bell fits the bill. It's worth noting that sources told Bleacher Report's Mike Freeman that they think the Jets will wind up landing Bell. One Steelers source called Bell to the Jets a foregone conclusion too. This is a rebuilding franchise that has some talented young players in place. Now it's about adding the impact veterans. For the Jets, Bell has to be plan A, B, C, D, and E in free agency. They can easily afford to give him a multi-year deal worth 15 to 20 million a year. There's really no reason for the Jets to not want Bell. If they offer him more money than anyone else, why wouldn't Bell want to join them? Number one, stay away, New England Patriots. Folks often can't help themselves but link a premier free agent or trade candidate to the New England Patriots. Bill Belichick isn't afraid of making a big splash from time to time, but it would make way more sense for him to trade for Antonio Brown rather than throw money at Bell. The New England rushing offense is an excellent unit led by 2018 rookie sensation Sony Michelle and the ultra reliable James White. There's absolutely no reason for the Pats to gut the remainder of their cap space for a player like Bell. The Patriots are right up against the cap right now. The only way we could see them signing Bell is if he were willing to take a discount for one or two years. And that's not going to happen. Bell wants to earn 15 to 20 million dollars a year. The Patriots aren't in any position to offer him that. Yes, Patriots fans, we know you'd love it if a guy like Bell would join the forces with Tom Brady. It'd be great, but it's not going to work that way. Michelle and White are cheap and get the job done. Belichick won't even think about going after Bell. I mean, he might think about it, but he's not going to do it. Who do you think will end up signing Le'Veon Bell? Join us in the comment section below. Make sure to follow myself and Total Pro Sports on social media. We post great content.
content all the time. Great content. Instagrams, tweets. It's all funny. Go do it. At least go check us out. Give us a look. See what you think. You're like, oh, I like that Instagram. Oh, cool tweet. And then follow us. What do you have to lose? If you like this video, give it a like. It takes one click right down there. Boom. Go click it. If this is your first time around TPS, make sure to subscribe because we post videos every single day. Every day is a new video, so you should definitely subscribe. Of course, thank you so much for watching. I'm Jason Biondo, and I'll see you next time. My knee.